recording here. All right. Good morning, team. We have barefoot body weight conditioning. Um, we are recording today. So if you're watching this on demand, well done logging in and, and getting a workout done. And welcome. We have Allison and Allie and Katie. All right, let's get going, you guys. Down on the floor, we'll get our barefoot warm up going on. Hey, good morning. All right, so just choosing any leg, choosing any leg and just starting in on that massage. We have about 10 minutes here on the floor where we just work from our kind of knees down to our toes. We start with this calf massage. So pushing your thumbs into your calves. You can kind of, I kind of just work them down on the inside of my calf, the outside of my calf. And then I kind of go after I've been digging around a little bit. Then I start to sort of roll it out, pushing, keeping the pressure on. Good morning, everybody rolling in. Good morning, good morning. And now I'm going to have to figure this out. You guys, I got a new computer. I got new headphones, I'm like a whole new woman. I got an Apple watch. I did a splurge that after Thanksgiving and did some shopping. But now on this new computer, your names disappear on my boxes unless I move my cursor. Does anybody know about that? So I'm gonna, usually my old computer, your names stay on the boxes. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But we have a lot of people in the house here today. Katie, Allie, Allison, the, the early ladies. We got Mary, Alex, Cheryl, Maggie's here, Liz is here, Linda's here, Cleo, Ashley, Alyssa, Casey, Molly, and Marie. All right, let's move it down to our ankle, you guys. So starting just to massage down gently around your ankle bone, just feeling any, any sore bits there. Definitely spending a little time around your Achilles tendon and sort of the very, very bottom of your very, very bottom of your calf there as it connects down in at the bottom. And then I like to pinch a little around my heel even, and then gently just pressing your fingers out on the top of your foot, out to your toes. You can even slide your fingers down between your toes from the top here. Start giving them a little space, a little love all the way out. And then we'll take that foot up on top of our thigh and just start to pound it out here. And if you guys, I see a lot of faces. I heard your names from 30 and 30, doing the double, maybe doing the triple, going from Lauren's 30 and 30 class to this. And you are always welcome to come in for this 10 minute foot massage, leg massage, and then go about your day if you want. That's such a great follow-up to 30 and 30, spending a little time on our feet. Our feet take so much, right? Every day, every step, most of what we do is on our feet. So giving them a little love is so worth it. Go ahead, grab your toes, and just start to push your toes forward and back past one another, and then working your way down one toe at a time working these toes. We call it the toe gymnastics. Just letting them, letting them move, getting them some air in between. Then go ahead and separate them out. Ooh, my pinky toe is like cracking down in there. And then separating them out, just pulling your toes apart and pushing your fingers down in between each toe. So trying to get your pointer finger down between your big toe and your second toe and all the other toes, just one finger in between. I'm just starting to squeeze. I'm kind of pushing my palm against the ball of my foot, pulling down, separating out my toes. You can even sort of lean back here and give your ankle a little roll if that feels good. I still have my foot resting on my knee. You could even just lift it up here, but just roll it maybe one direction, get the ankle loose and then roll it the other direction here. And my fingers are still in between toes. Tracy's here, welcome. Letty's here, welcome. All right, and then putting that foot down on the ground. I like my hand in a fist for a massage and I take the knuckle of my pointer finger and I start to press it in right at my arch. Kind of start there, see how that feels. Sometimes it feels good to use your thumbs and kind of press in there. And then I always press down around my heels. Like even now my toes are warm, but my heels are cold. I don't know, weird. 
weird circulation things. And then up to the base of your toes, I like to press with my thumbs and push right at the base of every toe and out to the pads of each toe. So I kind of get down there at the base of the gap between them, get pushing in there, out to the pads. All right, let's we'll move on to the other side here. Oh, that massage, that part feels just so good for me. All right, but we gotta switch it out. Let's go to the other side, starting with our calves here. And don't forget to go way up high behind your knee. I find there are often some secret sorbets in there for me, right up behind my knee. And then I kind of just get into the meaty part and you'll, you'll feel the, the muscly bit, right? The meaty bit kind of moves around as you push on it. And just be gentle if it's sore. You can feel the fibers and there's, you, you have like your soleus, your gastrocnemius, you have different parts of your calf and you can sort of get in between them a little bit in the center there. And working your way down towards your ankle, down at your Achilles tendon, giving it that good massage. So team, I missed you guys. I didn't teach for two weeks. The, the holidays here, I work at a ski area. My husband and I both do, and it gets very, very busy as you can imagine. So I'm sorry I had some subs, but I was leaving for work pretty early, working long days. All right, down around your heel here. But I missed it. I missed teaching. I didn't teach for two weeks. I did, I took a few classes on my own, but I miss seeing you guys. It's kind of my, my regular routine as well to get up and see your smiling faces. Out to your toes here, pressing your fingers down from the top in between your toes, giving them a little love, gentle out on the top of your foot, maybe even along your arch, and then pick that foot up and give it a little pound here. So hand in a fist, I'm down on my heel, just working around my heel, I don't pound on my arch. That doesn't feel good for me. The massage feels good, but not the pounding. Kind of up the outside of my foot and then onto the ball of my foot. But team, for today, if you did, if you went to the uh, New Year's Eve party, I'm taking what I did at New Year's Eve and we're just gonna run through that program twice. So we are gonna jump and do some 360s, jump some 180s, um, turn ourselves around, spin a little bit. We will use some weights. Um, for a little like wood chop snow shoveler move. And then we're gonna put the weight behind our knee to do a standing donkey kick. Um, so you only need one weight at a time. I'm going with my heavier weight for that stuff. Um, all right, and into the toe gymnastics here, moving our toes forward and back, forward and back. Excellent, oh, we got, Dogs of V-Fit in the house, nice. You could probably give your dog a little, a little foot massage. My son and I are reading um, Winter Dance, the Gary Paulson book about the Iditarod. And he talks a lot about having to check their paws all the time and check for little ice and cuts in the dog's paws as they run the Iditarod. That is a great book, Winter Dance, if you guys have not read it. Is that what it's called, Julian? Winter Dance, yeah, so, so good. Go ahead and stick your fingers in between your toes here. Give yourself a little handshake, a little love. Thank those feet for the hard work they do. And it's a little achy for me when I first go in there and you kind of just squeeze and it starts to relax. Maybe you let go a little bit, re release and then go back in. Just like you would if you were stretching your body, right? You might take a big inhale and lengthen, exhale, stretch into it, inhale, lengthen. You can do the same here as you're putting your hands between your toes, your fingers between your toes if you don't do it a lot. And then bring that foot down to the ground. And let's go into that massage for the bottom of our feet here. So knuckles in. All right, and I know we have some people who are still off school. Maybe if you're a teacher, you're not back at work yet. Some people are back into their routine. It's kind of a funny, we all sort of go into something different right around the holidays there, Christmas and New Year's. And then people are slowly getting their way back. I'm heading back to work today. I usually have Mondays and Tuesdays off. So mine kind of got an extended holiday with my normal days off. Back into it today, going to back to ski with some kids today after a couple day break. Oh, hey. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take my fingers down around my heel again. And then right at the base of my toes. We're just about ready to stand up gang. 
So base your toes out to the pads. And then we didn't roll our ankles on the other side. So maybe just taking that foot, roll it out a little bit, get any creaks and cracks out. And let's go ahead and stand on up team. You can see if you can stand with no hands, maybe you can crisscross applesauce, get your hips up. Maybe you take your feet to the side, come up onto your knees, stand up with no hands and let's get it going on you guys. All right, Sierra's here as well. Kathy's here. I think I said hi to Ashley, but Cassie, you're here. Trainer Lawrence here. All right, gang, we're gonna get started. We're gonna run. So we started out our class when we did the, um, the New Year's Eve party. I want you to draw 20, 22 on the ground, right? Big 2022, 20, cause we're gonna run it. We're gonna run that 2022. 20, so I just want you running in all different directions, turning your body, changing your steps, up on your toes, just getting that body moving. I'm gonna get my timer going here. And we go for 42 seconds, 20 plus 22 equals 42. So here we go. Here we go, here we go, we're running it. We're going around 2022. 20, You're maybe turning backwards as you go in your circle. Just jog and jogging up on your toes, all the way around that zero up and around the two. We have 22 seconds left in this set, gang. Here we go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can jog forward and back. If you're like, Coach Lindsay, you are crazy. You don't have to do it all around here. After this, we're gonna pick up our weight. We're gonna go to a little snow shoveler on one side. We have five seconds here. Head on over, jog it towards your weight. Grab that weight in your hand. We go to a lunge for this one. And we're gonna lunge down and twist uh, down towards your back knee and then come up to the front and down and up. Now I find my front knee wants to turn in. So please really try to keep that front knee facing forward as you start to twist to the back and bring it up. So we're gonna keep our feet planted here. We're just going to have this twist from our torso and up. If that's uncomfortable, you may find that you wanna kind of turn your legs and rotate and then come up here. Five seconds, we're gonna take this to the other side here. Three, two, take that other foot forward. We're gonna come down, lunge down, hands come back to the back knee and twist it up. Lunge down and up, down. And I'm even bending and straightening my legs. My legs bend as I come down, they twist, I come up tall. It's pretty balancey here. My back heel is lifted. And so as I come up high, I, I find myself kind of tipping and falling off balance a little. Down and up, down, lifting. Good team, that looks great. Three, two, go ahead and put that weight down. We got to jump. We're going to spin here. So 360s, if you can get yourself all the way around, otherwise squat, come up on your toes 180 come back up, pivot on one foot as you come around, or maybe you're gonna jump the whole way and see if you can do it. Maybe you can jump it in a 180 and jump it in a 180. Same direction the whole time here, cause we'll jump the other way after we do our standing donkey kicks. So jump it up, jump it up, turning, facing backwards, getting yourself a little bit dizzy. Yeah, stomping your landing team, getting there, three, Two, pick up your weight again. We're going into a standing donkey kick. So weight comes behind your knee. We balance here and we push our heel to the sky. Keep your foot flexed, your toes towards your shin. You're working your back body. You're working your glutes, your buns. Here we go. Push it up. Hold it at the top. Hold and down. And you can hold on to a chair, a wall. You could be down on the ground with these with your foot up to the sky. We're going back to those 180s, other direction. And then we'll do our donkey kicks on the other side. And then we repeat, we go through this whole list. We come back, we do everything again. Three, two, one, take that weight out. Bend your legs, get it to the ground. We jump the other way, 360s here. Bend your legs, swing with your arms, get some momentum and try to stomp your landing. Try to get there and bend your legs. Nice. In Mammoth this week, we have 
a big snowboarding and free ski contest. They're going to be in the half pipe and they're actually going to name the Olympic team for half pipe snowboarding in Mammoth on like Thursday or Friday as those competitors are here. So we have the best in the nation getting ready to compete this week. Do you guys, this is you, right? This is your Olympic qualifying run. You got to stomp it. You got to be balanced. Nice. Go ahead. Grab that other weight. Let's go back to those donkey kicks. Now I'm a little dizzy, right? It feels funny in my eyes, funny in my head. So now focus on something not moving to get your balance back. So don't focus on the TV on your computer screen because everybody's moving there. Look at something not moving off to the side. Hands out for balance here. Lifting that back leg, keeping your heel up. Good. From here, we're gonna come down. We're doing tricep push-ups. We got a forearm, forward and back plank. Plank, forearm, plank rainbows. And a little rope climb sit up. Three, two, we're coming down to the ground. Take that weight out. Down for tricep push-ups here. So fingers face forward, elbows are close to your body and elbows skim your rib cage as you come down. You can be on your knees here, toes to the sky. Head is the highest point at the top. Keep that head lifted. Don't let it droop down. Don't look at your belly button, look forward. Heads are strong, back of your arms working. Hands are close here. 14 seconds to go team. Tricep push-ups, otherwise sometimes known as a chaturanga push-up for people down and up. Three, two, we're gonna take it to our plank, our forearm now. Forearm, plank, and team, I want you to now push forward with your toes and pull back, push into your hands. So we're just kind of doing like a saw motion, forward and back, you're parallel to the floor here as you do these strong in your, you could be on your elbows again, and you could pull forward. Excuse me, you could be on your knees, push your booty back a little, pull yourself forward and back. 10 seconds to go here. After this, we go to that forearm plank rainbow, going side to side, forward and back. Three, two, one. Now take down to one side, up and over in a rainbow, down to the other side, up and over, plank rainbows here. Good. Nice team, I see booties. I be, see strong, strong booties, you guys. I like it as your booties pop up in that rainbow shape and it's slow, it's controlled. My feet kind of turn to one side, feet turn to the other side. Heads are lifted, looking at your fingertips. We're gonna roll it over to our back after this, 10 seconds. And we're gonna take it to our back to this rope climb sit up. Three, two, one, feet to the ground. Bring your knees around. So now all the way down, knees bent, hands come up. You're gonna grab onto a rope, grab onto a rope. See, oh, if you can get yourself up to upright here. Uh -oh. And then lower yourself back down. I just stopped my timer with my foot. I have to start it again. Here we go, up. Up. So you get a little twist as you come up and a little twist as you pull back down and slowly lower to the ground, up, up, up. And there comes a point where I'm either gonna get myself upright or I'm staying low that I have to give that extra little bit of energy here. So you may be low, right? You might do about one, two, three pulls, one, two, three, four, and you're not coming with your head too high off the ground right? There's that like point in the middle that sort of stops you that you have to really push past. All right, team, we're standing back up again. We come now, we have three more moves and then we go back to the top of these exercises. Standing on up, we're going to that wide squat, touch down here, down and up, down and up. You could step it and step it in and low and step feet together or you jump it in the middle. See if you can get booty low, chest up till you just get your fingertips to the floor. All right, so not keeping legs straight and bending. Your challenge is low, low, low bend here. Big bend in the knees, down and up, down and up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, team. We're gonna take this little squat. We take our toes out, our heels out. Toes, heels, toes, heels, till you get so wide you can't go. 
and then you bring it in. So we're working on pivoting our feet, pivoting, and you'll see my hands go. This just happens naturally for me as my knees move. And I'm just moving toes in, heels in, feeling my inner leg, my outer leg around in my hips here. So little pivots, good. We have one more move, then we're back at the top at those running and then our wood chops. Our right feet together. Now both toes go the same direction and then heels, toes, heels, hands out for balance. And you're just feeling your knees, your hips, your feet moving, moving. I get a little kind of rug burn on my feet as I do this on my carpet. We'll call it friction. We'll call it just warming your feet up. And I'm kind of grabbing onto the ground. Really feel your toes grab on, push up into your toes and your toes have to lift and your heels go, right? Seems simple, but there's a lot of balance and coordination here. Three, two, one, go ahead, take a little break, grab some water. We're going back to the top. So those are our 14 moves that we just did. And we'll go and do them again, starting with running that 2022. All right, find it. Like I said, on the, uh, the party on Friday, the New Year's Eve party, what kind of what kind of paint are you using? What does your 2022 look like? Mine's like a sparkly rainbow, right? The possibilities of this year are endless. Good things are coming to you. Paint your 2022. Let's get started running. Three, two, one. Here we go. Painting it out, painting it out. Running around. All right. Running, running, running. All different circles. Just being a little silly, letting yourself maybe spin around some, feeling your feet doing all kinds of different moves. You guys know, I like you to be changing directions, right? We have to move because that's real life. You go and you step and you go, oh shoot, I forgot something. And you turn around. I don't want you to hurt yourself as you make these quick changes or you slip on ice and something happens, or right, you drop, it gets very windy in Mammoth. You drop something at the grocery store parking lot, your receipt, and it goes flying off and you've got to run and chase your receipt down or your piece of paper, whatever it is. Five seconds here, we're gonna pick up a weight. We're going in to that wood chop, that, that move here. So one foot in front, let's go right foot forward first this time. And you're gonna take it low and twist your upper body and bring it up above and twist to the opposite side. Down low, lunge, pick it up and twist. Low and up. <sighs> Twisting here, back toe lifted, very balancey, right? You might feel as you come down, super wobbly, set your foot, you, you're barefoot here. So use all five toes in the front to squeeze and grip the ground for you. Grip it down, five seconds to go. We'll take it to the other side. Three, two, one. Step the other foot forward back into this lunge. Come down and up. Have your feet be heavy. I just noticed as I went up, my front foot lifted up off the ground. My toes lifted. Have all 10 toes be heavy and gripping down into the ground here. Down and up, down and up. Bending legs, straightening legs. Strong arms gripping your weight. Strong torso, your back, your stomach. 10 seconds here. Nice. Good, you guys. Great extension, everybody. I like. Weights are really moving. Three, two. We're going to jump that 360 here. Set your feet. Think about where you're going to land. Jump it up. Land it with bendy legs. Land bendy. Land low. Land quietly even if you can. So it might take you two or three jumps to get around, right? Maybe you jump it in quarters. Maybe you have four jumps and you go for height. Maybe you're going big and stomping it, sticking it, 15 seconds here. Remember the direction that you're going because we'll go the other way next time. Seven seconds, couple more. We're gonna grab the weight, go into that donkey kick. Here we go. Grab your weight, stick it behind your knee, pull your heel in, 
to lock that weight in place. So heels lifted, you're really feeling this on the backside of your body. We do so much for our quads. I wanna make sure our buns, our back body gets strong to counterbalance us. 17 seconds here. And I see some people using their arms. You can kind of runner's arms if that doesn't throw you off balance. Maybe you just hold on, I have my table here. Five seconds, 360s to the other side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jump it out. What are you doing? Oh, my son's gonna eat breakfast. He doesn't like you guys to see him eating. He's having his Rice Krispies. Here we go, jump in our 360s team. Jump it up, stick it. My booty goes down and out the back team. Get low on that landing. That's the way to stick it, right? Be bendy, arms up for balance. Get those arms away from your body. Swing them, have them out. Good, you guys, nine seconds here. We're gonna go to that donkey kick on the other side. Three, two, one. Grab your weight. Woo, head is spinning. It's good for us to get a little dizzy. All right, set that weight. Lift it up. Kids, right? Like adults, when was the last time you rolled down the hill, right? You just laid down and rolled down. I don't do it because I think I'm going to barf probably afterward. But kids, they can do it. They're always turning, spinning, jumping. It's good for us to train our bodies to do that. We want to make sure that we have great balance, right? Even when your eyes are going a little wobbly crazy here, you're still able to stand on one leg. Let's come on down, tricep push-ups. Bring that weight out. Drop it low here. Fingers in, elbows to your body. You can be on a table. You could be on a wall. But the most important thing, I want your elbows by your sides. Physically touch the inside of your arm to the outside of your rib cage as we come down. Yep, weights work too. Weights with that tricep kickback. Trainer Lauren said she doesn't like the overhead tricep press. I don't really like the kickback. That one is so hard for me. It is like the hardest, hardest. Down and up team doing these tricep push-ups. Three, two, we're taking it to our forearm plank here. So hands spread uh, wide, we pull forward and back. Fingers are spread out. Your forearms are parallel to one another. Heads lifted up, push with your feet, push with your arms, push with your toes forward, push with your arms back. Really strong belly buttons pulled up to spine. 20 seconds here. Good, pulling, pushing forward and back. Nine seconds to go team. We are, yeah, that'll be perfect. Three, two, one, take it to plank rainbows, down to the side and down to the side. We have two minutes left in class. So we're not gonna get to some of those pivots at the end here, but we're plank rainbowing now, down to the side, down to the side. You can do these on your knees. You can have toes to the sky and you roll to the side and the side. Sometimes these hurt my back. So I definitely go to my knees quite often if it's one of those sore back days. My head is high, <sighs> hips are rotating. You're turning on your feet. Keep those palms down to the ground. Yep, good, Linda, that looks great. Good, Tracy, go inside to side there. Three, two, one, roll it around. We have that rope climb here. So rope climb, one, two, oy, three, four and five if you can get up and starting to let yourself, now you're lowering lowering slowly down and pull, pull with energy. Get yourself up. Yeah, good, good, good. Linda, love it, love it, love it. That looks great, you guys. Up, up, up. Nice team, we are strong. Really, chest high. Look up and forward when you get to the top there. Be proud. You made it here this morning. You did some wacky moves with Coach Lindsay. Three, two, one. Here we go, let's stand it on up. We've got one more move. We have that, that wide squat touch down here, down and up. We have 40 seconds to go, you guys. 
this will be it. It's going to turn over to seven o'clock here on my on my watch pretty soon. There it is. 24 seconds to go. Down and up. Step it up. Drop it low. Step it up. Drop it low. Energize. Heart rates are up. I always like to finish with this little cardio blast. Get you out a little bit sweaty. 10 seconds here, team. Yes, great energy. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Working, team. Working, working. Three, two, one. There it is. There it is. That's what we have here. Step it out. It is seven o'clock, you guys, if you need to go. If you can stay with me a little, we'll just pull heel to bum. Stretch out our quads. Stretch out the front of your leg. Step to the other side. Pull it in. So barefoot body weight conditioning. We do a little bit of everything in class. Trying to always, I try some balance, some little bits of agility. Keep you quick, keep you quick, keep you on your feet. Let's go one more to that first side. Hold it in. And to the other side. You got that great calf massage, but some of those jumps and things will make your calves sore, right? Might make them tighten up. So if you can, just push like you're going into a lunge, but straighten out your back leg, press your heel to the floor, get a little stretch in your calf back there. Down dog will do the same thing. If you're comfortable in down dog, you could press here and then walk that foot in, step the other foot back, straighten that back leg, press your heel to the floor. This gets a little hip flexor and some calf in the back with that back leg. All right, team, it is time for you to head out on your Wednesday. As usual, drink your water, right? Stay hydrated. Thank you for joining me. So good to see you guys. Allison, Katie, nice to see you off the bike, Katie, too. Katie and I spin on Tuesday and Thursday. And Cleo does as well. Bye, team. Be strong. Be well. There's Julian. Hello. <laughs> Bye, you guys.